Positive education is about using the science of positive psychology in schools. It supports best practice teaching and learning because it teaches students about growth mindsets and how to capitalise on their strengths, um, how to tune into their thinking and self-talk. And all of that not only helps the students in the classroom, but it also builds a greater sense of well-being. We sometimes talk about kind of a, a well-being continuum lying from negative 10 to positive 10. And so in some ways, psychology picks people who are in the negative zone and tries to get them back around the zero mark. Isn't it just as valuable to focus on people's strengths, to focus on what makes life worth living, to focus on how can we lead a life full of meaning and purpose with strong relationships? Let's look at what makes people thrive and flourish and achieve optimal levels of well-being and let's apply our scientific rigour and let's get some evidence behind understanding that too. And that science is positive psychology. You could say that positive psychology was founded by Martin Seligman from the University of Pennsylvania. Um, we've worked intensely with Marty over the years and with a number of other professionals from um, the field of positive psychology. Our model of well-being is based on their work and on their research, and in particular on Marty's well-being construct, which he refers to as PERMA. Let me go through the different dimensions that teaching positive education to young people will produce. So I think it's certain that uh, PERMA, positive emotion, engagement, relationships, meaning, and achievement will increase. It's probable that depression anxiety will decrease. It's possible that physical health will increase uh, and it's uh, possible that uh, peace, productivity will be higher. But if we were to put it, encapsulate pos -ed, in a nutshell, I would say it's about feeling good and doing good and about, you know, feeling good, know thyself, understand yourself, understand the full emotional range that you have. I mean, that includes the you know, anger and envy and jealousy. I mean, it's not eliminating those things, but understand yourself and then go out there and do good. Help others participate in, in society in a constructive and a meaningful way. And if we can open this sort of these ideas to young people with gratitude, with saving, with what it means to flourish in life, how to deal with adversity, I see it as a very, very powerful education experience. Yes, positive education does have big aims, but ultimately the goal is to enable individuals and communities to flourish. I mean, research is showing that the skills and concepts that we are teaching have positive impacts on people that have good mental health, but also that might be languishing in life. I mean, if we want to teach our students skills that they will use for the rest of their life, and that we're certain will make a difference, this is it.